Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we've got a teacher's present or a teaching assistant present um, idea. Now with um, the schools obviously coming to a close now, um, we'll be looking at things we can do and give to them as little gifts. These are ideal. So I've just laid out a few of these little vinyl cutouts that I bought. Now I purchase these from eBay. I don't have one of the vinyl cutters myself, um, but there are lots and lots of sellers on eBay that um, that sell these sorts of things that are really, really quite affordable. So here are a few ideas of um, some you can get. We're going to do a couple um, now and um, just a little idea for you really. Right, so first of all, we're going to do one of the mugs. Now you need to know if your teacher or teaching assistant is left or right-handed because that will make a difference. If they're right-handed, um, then you hold the mug like that and the um, sticker needs to go there. If they're left-handed, then the sticker needs to go on the other side. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Now. So we're gonna use this teaching assistant sticker. These mugs incidentally came from Wilco. They also sell a pack of six mugs in Argos for six pounds. They are at the same price in Wilkinson's. These are a bit slightly more of a cream color and they're more white, the ones in Argos. Um, so, that's a couple of places that you can get them from there these are like the basic styles you can get some white ones that are a little bit more fancy but these are the basic ones so you just go over the vinyl with one of these little um, vinyl scrapers and I'll put the link for this in the description you can buy them from Amazon really cheaply and um, once you've worked over it what you're doing is you're putting the vinyl onto the little sticky backing plastic and you just start to peel it off and then just make sure that it's picking it up because it doesn't always, the vinyl doesn't always pick up first time. So I kind of just press it on. And a vinyl is a really, really, really good way to um, sort of personalise anything and it's really inexpensive. So obviously make sure that your mug is clean and the surface is clean and then you want to eyeball it, get it where you want it to go and then you just push it down. I always go from the middle and sort of work it out in the first instance and then you get your vinyl scraper and you go over the top like that and you kind of rub it over and you're transferring then the, um, the sticker onto the mug so you have to rub it like this and then you get your the top part which is the plastic part and you start and pull it and if you can see that it's now been transferred on and if there are any bits that you've not quite caught you just go back rub them and then you you pull them down so I'm going to do this and then I'll show you when it's done there we go so you've got that and then you're best just to sort of like push it on just to make sure that it sits on and that is really it's quite a, a basic one really black and white but I think that's pretty cool especially if you've got like male teachers I don't think they tend to want anything too fancy do they um so that one's the best teaching assistant ever okay I've got a couple of others here that I'm just going to do just to show you um just the different things that you do and also we're going to pop some on um a glass as well right so I've done a few there um now I've got these stickers and I think these are super cute so we've got an after school and we've got a before school and Again, we've got after school and before school there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some on a mug and some on a glass. So um, I've got one for a lady, one for a man. So we've got the normal mugs there. So obviously that's going to be before school. And then the after school, they go on a wine glass like that. So that's for the women. And for the men, we have before school. So they can have a cup of tea or coffee. And then after school, we are going to pop it on a pint glass. So I just thought they were a really cute idea. Obviously, one teacher would have the before and the after school. Um, slightly different designs in those, but do look on eBay because there's loads of people that do them. Um, so I'm just going to stick those on and show you what they look like now.
Now, just as a little tip, if you've got something that's a little bit curved, you can actually cut the vinyl and put it in on separate sort of sections. So um, I probably should have cut this before I put it on, but you just kind of like nip it in little areas and then you can get it done in sort of sections. So sort of do the top part stick that down and then you can sort of maneuver it now these are sometimes a little bit tricky to put on um it just depends how they want to go and we obviously we made some bits for christmas with these stickers so um i have done quite a few before but i do still sometimes find it find them a bit of a pain to get off it just depends sometimes they go on okay and then sometimes like you get certain letters that really don't want to stick and you get in a bit of a pickle but I always persevere and get them down right in the end. So just by cutting it, it just helps to bend round the um, bits where the glass goes. Also another tip is if you peel the, um, the sticky bit downwards, sometimes that helps to come off. But when you've got like really delicate writing like this, sometimes it is a bit tricky to get it off without getting in a bit of a pickle. Sometimes you think you've almost done it and then a bit comes off at the end. That one's not too bad. So there we go. So that's that one. So that's the before school and after school set for the ladies. Um, and then we're just going to do one for the um, gents as well. I, I always, I, I always have over the years found it a bit tricky to buy presents for male teachers. I don't know why. It's just, um, it's hard to know what to get them, isn't it? So I'm just going to put these on the next set as well. Right, there we go. So they're the um, before and after in those. Now, wrapping them wise, what you can do is use some of the um, cello wrap. Just wrap them in plain cello wrap. You can get that from Poundland, a place like that. You can do it, get it online as well. You could also, if you wanted to, put some bits and pieces in and you could um, get some bags of chocolate, some packs of like the mini biscuits. You could put those in, some sweets, maybe put those in cello, like a little bag, tie that. Then wrap that in a bit of this cello um, cellophane wrap um, you could also maybe for the um, the beer ones you could put in some bags of peanuts dry roasted peanuts something like that some um, pork crunch you know um, pork scratchings that sort of thing so you could put all sorts in and then just sort of wrap them you can also get from Poundland sometimes you can get um, little gift boxes or anywhere really keep an eye out for them put a bit of tissue in the bottom of the gift gift box and then you could just put that in maybe put a pack of um, biscuits or something at the side so you can kind of chop and change it to what's suitable for your teacher really I'm really pleased with how they've turned out i hope watching this video has helped give you a few ideas and um let's hope you get some good presents for your teachers it can be really expensive can't it buying things but this is quite a good cost effective way of giving quite a good personalized present and you can also sometimes get the um the vinyl personalized um for your teacher too Okay, so I've wrapped them all in some cello wrap and I've added a few bits and pieces to them. This one here, I've put the after school, the book before school together. I've also stuck a vinyl onto this little round here to make like a little coaster and just sealed it with some Mod Podge. I've put some pork scratchings there in the top of the beer glass and just wrapped it in some cello wrap. For the ladies one here, I've also done um, the same thing, wrapped it up and I've put another coaster in that one and put a napkin underneath that. The best teacher, I've just put some pork scratchings in there and just wrapped that together. For these, for the ones with sort of like a cup of tea or coffee, I've put some biscuits. This one, I've just wrapped some sweets in a little sweet comb. This one here, I've done some um, biscuits again, and then I've just put a little couple of Kit Kats in that one. So as you can see, they are really simple to do and they make really nice presents. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope it's inspired you to have a go and I will see you all again very soon. You take care. Bye for now.